नहीं 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 ये गुस्सी को वही सी है सही है क्या चलें दी बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम आई एम डॉक्टर अल्सानवर एफसीपीएस इसमें से जारी होगी आवाज आराम आस आस्ता आस्ता बोलो जी I am Dr. Alsanwar, FCPS resident in Hamid Latif Hospital, and today my topic of presentation is ectopic pregnancy. I will start with the definition of ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy is defined as the implantation of pregnancy outside the normal uterine cavity. Definition की spelling जरा गलत है मुझे ठीक कर लेना. Definition ही होता है. Definition होता है. N I. N I. मैंने इसलिए के साथ साथ बता रहा था चलिए. जी सर. and then the pathophysiology in the normal pregnancy the fertilization of the mature ovum occurs in the ampullary part of the fallopian tube uh, so any abnormality of the tubal morphology or the function can lead to the impaired migration of the fertilized egg including damage to the tubal mucosa damage to fimbrial end or internal scarring of the tube that can lead to the ectopic pregnancy one possible hypothesis is that the poor quality of morula or the chromosomal abnormalities can lead to the ectopic pregnancy uh yahan thoda sa agar main ji sir pata chalu wapas kuch nahi hai this thing traditionally it used to be said that probably it was <coughs> enhanced receptivity of the tubal mucosa which attracted that or some kind of tubal pathology if uh, it is partly affected by say inflammatory process uh, sometimes a blind la uh, forms in that so that the, when the fertilized ovum travels through or is wafted or pushed along the tubal lumen it gets stuck there or it uh, receives a receptive endometrium or it it becomes a little large for uh the that portion of the tube to pass through that so uh, those are the condition in which it can get stuck over there mm -hmm. and uh, that's how it it happens and it was also seen that sometimes the pregnancy occurred when uh the side on which the tube was patent that didn't have uh, an ovary and the ovary was on the other side and where on the side that the ovary was present the tube was non functional functional or had been removed and even those case in those cases uh, ectopic pregnancy was seen in the tube so then it was considered that the, the ovum obviously was picked up by the tube okay. but it became a little larger while it was in the tube and that's how it got stuck so those are various explanations for why uh, it gets stuck within the tube but uh, essentially pelvic inflammatory disease um uh, uh, ascending infection uh and especially uh surgery uh, yes. which affects the physiological and anatomical function anatomical as well as physiological Physi by physiological function is meant the effect of the ciliary epithelium of uh, tubal mucosa which is responsible for moving the uh, fertilized egg from the fimbrial end towards the uterus so if they their function is compromised then there is likelihood of it getting stuck in the tube mm -hmm. uh, the incidence of ectopic pregnancy is 11 per 1000 pregnancies and the recurrence in a female which previously have the ectopic pregnancy is 18.5% maternal mortality rate is 0.2 per 1000 ectopic pregnancies and 0.3 per 100000 maternities 
heterotopic pregnancy is 0.3 to 0.8 percent the heterotopic pregnancy is that pregnancy uh, in which simultaneously uh, the pregnancy occurs intrauterine and extrauterine pregnancies following assisted reproduction ended up in the ectopic pregnancies are one to two percent uh, then the risk factors for the ectopic pregnancies uh, the high risk factors includes the tubal pathology as the sir explained uh, the mucosal damage to the tube or the function of the uh, fallopian tube, previous ectopic pregnancy, previous tubal surgery, uh, in utero diethyl salvestrol, smoking. Diethyl salvestrol is uh, nowadays not used. It, it, its use was stopped many, many years ago. And uh, it was used uh, uh, as a treatment for threatened abortion in uh, 60s probably. Yes. As a matter of fact, when it was used uh, and it was seen that uh, there is a question for the postgraduates, what cancer was associated in daughters of uh, mothers who took diet and still bestrol for uh, their, uh, for, uh, as a treatment for threatened abortion? There was a cancer which uh, came out to be commoner or more prevalent in uh, uh, those girls who were at that time the conceptuses within their mother's uterus. Reproductive pathologies or sir, wo likha wa tha usme. Jor mein bata deta hu, vaginal cancer unme zyada tha. Un ladkiyon mein jinke pregnancy ke dauran unki maan ne diethyl stilbestrol li thi as treatment for a certain abortion. Okay. Uh, smoking, uh, smoking damages the ciliated epithelium of the fallopian tube and uh, uh, smoking more than 20 cigarettes per day can lead to the high risk of uh, ectopic pregnancy. Moderate factors include the history of pelvic inflammation, infection which includes the uh, tuberculosis, chlamydia, gonorrhea or the pelvic inflammatory disease, subfertility, multiple sexual partners and advanced age the age greater than 40% increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy more than four times. And then the types of ectopic pregnancy, uh, the tubal ectopic pregnancy is 90 to 95% in which the ampullary section includes the 80% of the ectopic pregnancy. Then the isthmus 12%, fimbrial end 5 to 10% and interstitial 2%. The 5 to 10% of the ectopic pregnancies are non-tubal, which includes the cervical, ovarian, cesarean scar, coronal, and the abdominal. The coronal pregnancy is the rarest ectopic pregnancy. And uh, yeah. so then uh, uh, I'm sure that all of us would realize that uh, while uh, coronal is the rarest, the cesarean scar pregnancy, CSP, as uh, an abbreviation it is used, is one of the newer ones which has yes. come in and is becoming more and more common like placenta accreta yes. spectrum um, then that we come across similarly csp is now seen more frequently and it has assumed uh, uh, very serious uh, kind of uh, uh, consequences for the patient uh, and therefore it is important that we should be aware of uh, uh, its uh, diagnostic criteria what are various types of cesarean scar pregnancy? Please look that up. Number one. Number two, what are various approaches? And uh, uh, whereas uh, in uh, missed portion and others, one would go ahead with uh, manual vacuum aspiration or uh, evacuation, curatage, or ENC, etc. Uh, when you deal with cesarean scar pregnancy or a suspected cesarean scar pregnancy, you have to be extra careful. Uh, and uh, it, it is best to be uh, treated in a tertiary care hospital. Then this is the picture showing the different sides of the ectopic pregnancy, including interstitial, cervical, intramural, ovarian, abdominal, uh, and the fallopian tube ectopic pregnancy. A clinical presentation. Uh, the clinical presentation represents in ectopic pregnancy is triad of three A's, which is abdominal pain, amenorrhea, and abnormal vaginal bleeding. Uh, other reported symptoms are breast tenderness, gastrointestinal symptoms, which includes diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, dizziness, fainting, or syncope, shoulder tip pain if there is massive hemorrhage in the perito peritoneal cavity that can irritate the diaphragm and resulted in the shoulder tip pain. 
urinary urinary symptoms passage of tissue rectal pressure or pain on defecation defecation is spelling is not a human well you see uh, as a matter of fact uh, if one would go rather systematically one would say that all the symptoms of pregnancy can be felt by the woman even before she starts experiencing pain or bleeding Please. pain or bleeding are those which would attract attention but uh, like amenorrhea is first she would uh, cross her due date one and then uh, she might have, might have, not necessarily, because yes. all women do not have uh, nausea and vomiting. So may, she may have that. Breast tenderness is amongst those. Yes. This is part of the no, early no. pregnancy symptoms or the, what, what the patient may feel. Once uh, the uh, pregnancy is a little large and it starts stretching the tube, then it would start giving rise to abdominal pain. When we talk about ectopic pregnancy until and unless specified, otherwise we are talking of tubal pregnancy because 90% or more than 90% it tubal. is the tubal uh, pregnancy. So it is when it, uh, the tube gets starts stretching or there is bleeding. And sometimes even before the tube ruptures, there is bleeding and, uh, because of what is known as tubal abortion or even before that, there may be so many times you see blood trickling out of the femoral ends. And when that blood gets into the pouch of Douglas, it causes that uh, uh, irritation and that is a result of that. But one particular pain that is generally, uh, it is this piercing pain, the kind of pain of which the, the, that, that uh, uh, photograph is given. It's a piercing pain if the patient says so. Shoulder tip pain obviously would be a little later when there is enough hemoperitoneum and it starts, the, but that's a com comparatively later kind of pain. So you start with, and I would have preferred amenorrhea or missed periods as number one in common symptoms, and number two, abdominal pain or bleeding or what, uh, et cetera. And bleeding, of course, why would there be bleeding? Again, you, you should know about that. Uh, that is because the pregnancy hasn't a good hold of that, and uh, uh, there is not enough of uh, uh, the support uh, of the progesterone, progesterone. To, to protect because of. Uh, less amount of uh, chorionic uh, gonadotrophin. And then the common signs, the pelvic tenderness. Pelvic tenderness may be present unilateral, bilateral, or generalized abdominal tenderness, adenexal tenderness, abdominal tenderness. Other reported signs by patients are cervical motion tenderness, rebound tenderness, failure, abdominal distension, tachycardia, and hypotension present in the shock or hypovolemic shock and the orthostatic hypotension. Uh, I'd like to add, uh, say one thing. Cervical motion tenderness previously used to be referred to as rocking movement of the cervix that it will give, give rise to pain. If uh, the ectopic pregnancy is in the right tube and you move the cervix towards right, uh, so that uh, uh, the body of the uterus moves towards left, left. Uh, that would uh, stretch the right tube. Yes. And uh, because of that, there would be tenderness. So if you move the cervix from side to side, that used to be called uh, cervical uh, uh, motion uh, rocking uh, sign, etc. But nowadays, I would rather not do a pelvic examination. Yes. You see, in cases of so-called threatened abortion, threatened abortion is one in which there is pregnancy, but uh, if there is bleeding, and uh, lower abdominal discomfort. In this, you would say pain, not discomfort, but uh, the cervix is closed. Uh, previously, when ultrasound was not so readily available, we used to do pelvic examination and assess the cervical opening or not in diagnose threatened abortion. And if there was suspicion of ectopic pregnancy, I remember doing this rocking movement of the cervix and knowing that. In uh, oh, oh, chronic ectopics, there is a condition also, the chronic ectopic in which there is a formation of a metal scene and all that. In those two, there used to be that uh, rocking movement of the cervix would give rise to that pain or tenderness and that would be a diagnostic sign. But these days we do not resort to that. Mm. And because of those other methods of uh, uh, identifying and diagnosing ectopic pregnancy. Uh, then the diagnosis, uh, the abdominals can uh, have the sensitivity of 99% and specificity of 71%, while the TBS have the 
99% sensitivity and specificity of 99%. In TVS, we can see that an empty uterine, extra uterine gestational sac in 20 to 40%. In homogeneous or non cystic adenoid cell mass in 50 to 60 percent moving separately to the ovary, referred to as tubal ring or bagel sign. I will show it later. Extra uterine gestational sac with yolk sac or and, or, and embryonic pole with or without cardiac activity in 15 to 20 percent of the patients. A pseudo sac may be present on the TBS, which is uh, formed by the bleeding in the uterus, but it is different from the early gestational sac because it has the single uh, outer layer and it is present normally in the center of the uterine cavity with the, no vascular supply, while the early gestational sac has the double outer layer, regular outline, and present in the one side of the uterine cavity with vascular supply. Serum beta HCG has uh, the value in planning the management of the ectopic pregnancy. Laparoscopically, is still considered uh, the gold standard for the diagnosis of the uh, ectopic pregnancy. जब मैंने एसीपीएस किया था उस वक्त मैंने लैपरोस्कोपी लिखा था कि लैपरोस्कोप बिकॉज़ अल्ट्रासाउंड नहीं था उस वक्त जब मैंने एसीपीएस किया अल्ट्रासाउंड नहीं अवेलेबल इतना पुराना किया तो लेकिन लैपरोस्कोपी थी लैपरोस्कोपी हम करते थे सो वन ऑफ माय एग्जामिनर्स वाज फ्रॉम गंगाराम हॉस्पिटल आई न्यू वो उनका मुझे मैंने केस रिकॉर्ड में अपना ये लिखा हुआ था कि ये उन्होंने वो सारी पढ़ी भी थी केस और कैंडिडेट कम होते थे उन्होंने सारा कुछ पढ़ा होता था जो कैंडिडेट ने उन्होंने कहा तुमने अपने केस रिकॉर्ड में लिखा हुआ है कि तुमने लैपरोस्कोपी की उनका मुझे पता था कि वो क्या करती वो करती थी कोल्डोसिंथेसिस शी वुड पुट अ नीडल इन द पाउच ऑफ डक्ट्स फ्रॉम पर वैजिना कोल्डोसिंथेसिस और उसमें से ब्लड आता था बिकॉज़ द ब्लड वुड ग्रेविटेट एंड गेट एक्यूमुलेटेड इन पाउच ऑफ डक्ट्स तो जिस तरह से एग्जामिनर्स का कैंडिडेट को पता होता था तो कैंडिडेट भी जो है ना वो मैंने भी एग्जामिनर्स के पता था मैंने कहा नहीं बात सही है लेकिन हमारे यहाँ चूंकि ये वो गंगा राम में उस वक्त अवेलेबल नहीं ना लैपस को तो हमने कहा कि नहीं हम तो ये करते लेकिन नाउ आई वो नो डायग्नोसिस नो मतलब मेरे सोच में भी नहीं आएगी लैपस को Yes, treatment. Yes, laparoscopic surgery. Yes, sir. But diagnosis may not. Unfortunately, laparoscope abhi tak is not uh, so commonly available. Even diagnostic laparoscopy, most of uh, the new fellows of uh, CPSP in gynecology, they haven't carried out any laparoscopies, which is uh, unfortunate. So, therefore, I would advise all those who are on this forum. Those doctors who are who have passed or who are in the process that that you must aim to learn laparoscopies, diagnostic laparoscopy is yes, uh, at least, and you you should perform about twenty to fifty laparoscopies before you can really say that you uh, you you are master of it. But this is important now nowadays because of beta ACG. Beta ECG became available in uh, late 80s, in 86, 87, when we were doing IVF at that time, we, we resorted to this beta ECG. Otherwise, uh, it used to be a, a, a urine pregnancy test. So qualitative and quantitative, uh, quantitative test of uh, uh, pregnancy may, was made available in, after 85 in Pakistan. And... Uh, with beta ECG and ultrasound, and ultrasound, of course. Uh, we also got the first uh, vaginal probe of ultrasound in 1987. Uh, IVF killing. So, the kind of diagnosis that you can make on uh, uh, TVS uh, is totally different. The, the view is totally different. If you've got a good machine and you have good orientation of uh, doing a, a vaginal scan, uh, then uh, it shouldn't really be difficult. And now added on to that is the Doppler. You see the blood flow supply. It is not only the mass which is there, it is also the... And I would uh, want all of you, the residents here, to spend some time with Dr. Aisha Umar in the ultrasound department. extra time You will learn a lot. 
काफी कुछ तुम्हें पता चलेगा सो नाउ द डायग्नोसिस रेस्ट वन एंड एंड द डायग्नोसिस शुड बी मेड अर्लियर अगेन एटी सिक्स सेवन की बात होगी एटी सिक्स की बात ही होगी वी वर सिटिंग इन ओपीडी इन सर्विस हॉस्पिटल एंड देर वॉज अ लार्ज रूम सारा गायनी का वो उस वक्त उसमें ओपीडी था ही वो तो उसमें हम ऐसे बैठे हुए थे तो अ पेशेंट वॉज बींग शी शी वॉज बींग सपोर्टेड बाई टू पर्सन वुमेन and uh, was uh, kind of helped into the room and as soon as she entered the uh, the door mai rubina mere paas thi maine rubina ko ek topic pe bhi wo matlab usko dekh ke hi banda bata sakta tha because she was kind of collapsed semi collapsed to so semi collapsed ko agar wahan pe leke aa rahe hain is tarike se to wo it turned out to be that us waqt yahan pe bhi ultrasound ka मोर्टेलिटी Uh, uh, ectopic pregnancy because of late diagnosis because of uh, loss of lot of blood and uh, before the treatment can be provided because there are many places in the world where uh, all these facilities are not available which we take for granted in uh, comparatively larger hospitals even in pakistan there would be situations where it may not be available and the pay- people are not aware of that they do not look at it from that point of view and do not seek medical help earlier and uh, the patients may lose considerable amount of blood before they are diagnosed with that so the diagnosis essentially in those cases in every nowadays my, my outlook is that if i don't see a, uh, an intra uterine sac uh, at the expense of raising a little bit of alarm uh, for the patient i tell them that you well you are you are to have an ultrasound in 10 days time by that time it would start showing but in during this time if you start having or you feel undue pain on one or the other side or in the lower abdomen which is a little sharp then please immediately come to the hospital i do not tell them that you may have a ruptured tube or you have pregnancy in the tube just to be on the safe side because i don't want to be labeled as a doctor who missed the diagnosis what you doctor saw wo pata hi nahi chala tha wo to ho gaya tha so many a times you would come across this situation in practical uh, management of patients that you do not see uh, an intra uterine sac and you don't have a beta hcg report at that time you all that the patient has uh, is overdue by one week or 10 days sometimes the periods are relatively irregular the pregnancy occurs not on the 14th day but on 21st day a week later and that's why we uh, depend so much now on uh, dating scan so uh, if the patient comes at that time then you should be aware at least you should warn the patient that when she comes after 10 days or 2 weeks with an ultrasound or beta hcg report etc then uh, in the meantime if she suffers this kind of uh, pain she should report to me tell us this this is the rain sign or the bagel sign which also called the blob sign uh, present the in bagel kya hai bagel ko मैं इसलिए बता रहा हूँ कि बेगल जो है हम यहाँ पे नहीं इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं हम यहाँ पे डोनट करते हैं ये अमेरिकन चीज है वो भी उनका ना ब्रेड का ये जिस तरह से नजर आ रहा है ना एक्चुअली जितना ये नजर आ रहा है ये ये ऐसे यहाँ से नहीं मैं नहीं शेयर कर रहा ये इसी तरह से डोनट की तरह का होता है वो ब्रेड इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ ब्रेड उससे थोड़ा बड़ा होता है ये डोनट यहाँ पे हम छोटे हैं वो जरा बड़ा फ्लफी सा उस तरह से होता है तो इसको डोनट कहने के बजाय उन्होंने बेगल कर दिया तो मैंने कहा कि ये कम से कम वो आप कहते हैं ना बेगल साइन उन्होंने जैसे स्नो स्टॉम अपीयरेंस हो जाती है कि जी स्नो स्टॉम अब हमने स्नो स्टॉम यहां पे कहां देखा राइट तो वो अगर वो कहना हो कि ये हाइड्रेटेड फॉर्म वो लड़का सा उनके स्नो स्टॉम अपीयरेंस है कोई हमें तो कुछ भी नहीं पता ना उसका पता नहीं इस टाइम कर सकते सो ये इसलिए बेगल के बारे में मैंने यहां बता दिया जी सर दिस इज द गेस्टेशनल साइड सराउंडेड बाय द हेप हाइपरिकोइक रिंग इसको आप जेस्टेशनल बोलो जी सर जेस्टेशनल
and then the management uh, there are three modes of management in the ectopic pregnancy expectant uh, medical and the surgical management uh, we do not offer expectant management to the patient who are not able to return for follow up uh, we offer expectant management to the patient who are clinically stable pain free uh, having the tubal ectopic pregnancy less than 35 mm with or or with no visible heartbeat on the uh, uh, transvaginal ultrasound as, uh, and having the serum beta hcg level from 1000 to 1500 international unit per liter or less जनरली जैसा आपने अभी कहा गया तीन तरह की मैनेजमेंट के एक्सपेक्टेंट है मेडिकल है और फिर सर्जिकल है वी ऑल नो दैट ऑल ऑफ द ओबीजीवाई डॉक्टर्स मस्ट नो द क्राइटेरिया फॉर रिसोर्टिंग टू एक्सपेक्टेंट मैनेजमेंट मेडिकल मैनेजमेंट एंड सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट दैट इफ दीस क्राइटेरिया आर मेट द पेशेंट इज अलाउड एक्सपेक्टेंट मैनेजमेंट If the, as you said, that serum beta ICG is less than 1500 milliunits yes. per ml. Yeah, yeah, a, 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 intra, a, international units per liter. Or, wo uska size maha bhi kitna hoga, ultrasound bhi kitna hoga, or kya nazar a raha hoga. Essentially, wo hai. Aapne wo chizen thik likhi hai. Clinically stable, pain-free, ultrasound pe TVS pe less than 35 millimeter, or uh, no heart rate. और हार्ट बीट तो कोर्स नो हार्ट बीट तो वो तो फिर आप मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट के लिए तो फिर और एबल टू रिटर्न टू फॉलो दिस इज अगेन इम्पोर्टेंट एबल टू रिटर्न फॉर फॉलो व्हाई बिकॉज़ इन दिस सिचुएशन कम पेशेंट कंप्लायंस इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज़ द पेशेंट कैन ब्लीड हेवीली रिस्कली एंड कैन गो इनटू शॉक इन कंपैरेटिवली शॉर्टर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड शी डस नॉट हैज होम हेल्प शी डस हैज ट्रांसपोर्ट it might take a uh, 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 unduly uh, delay and therefore you when you devise treatment whether you are going to uh, give the patient expectant management or medical management or surgical management then this last point is also of great importance and therefore in many patients probably you would be justified in advising surgical treatment because if you assess that patient's compliance and follow up and uh, her access to the hospital later on may not be uh, up to the mark and therefore you say that you will may carry out the definitive treatment and only send the patient back home then so all these points are important in each category but this last one has its own importance and the expected management is given on the thought that the ectopic pregnancy a natural course of the ectopic pregnancy is self limiting which eventually result in the tubal uh, miscarriage or the resolution uh, after giving the expe uh, expectant management we uh, repeat the beta hcg levels on follow up management follow of expectant management because yeah. expectant management yeah. doesn't mean that you just leave the patient home and send her home it has to be followed up in a certain, according to certain uh, uh, rules criteria. and regulations and according to certain criteria. Uh, we repeat the beta HCG level on second, fourth, and seventh day. If the beta HCG level drops by 15% or more, we repeat weekly until the negative result obtained, which is beta HCG level less than 20 international unit per liter. If the beta HCG level do not fall by 15% or stays the same or rises, we review the clinical condition of the patient and seek the senior advice. As a matter of fact, you opt for the second thing. Yes, sir, second. Yeah, you, you senior advice, you have to do it. You have to do it with the senior. You have to do it with the senior. Go on to the next. Advise women that the risk of tubal rupture need for treatment if their condition deteriorates, time taken for ectopic pregnancies to resolve. Further fertility outcomes are likely to be the same in the expectant and the medical management. Which actually means that uh, irrespective of the treatment, whether it is expectant or you treat it medically, uh, the future fertility outcomes are not different. It, they are more or less the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, uh, uh, if you decide to carry out expectant management, then you are saving the patient from side effects, potential side effects of methotrexate, which of course is uh, 
uh, antiphlenic acid and uh, medicine and uh, health potential side effects. So you are saving the patient those. But it is not necessary. It has got nothing to do with uh, uh, keeping her fertility or uh, improving her fertility or maintaining her fertility at th that this particular status. So uh, the outcome would not really be uh, different in either of these so far as future fertility is concerned. Uh, then the medical management. In medical management, we offer the methotrexate to the patient, which is the folic acid antagonist and inhibits the DNA synthesis and interferes with the trophoblastic, uh, uh, trophoblastic uh, uh, proliferation. Uh, methotrexate is given in a dose of 50 milligram per meter square. Uh, uh, we will give the methotrexate to the patient which have the no significant pain, unruptured ectopic pregnancy with less than 35 mm mass with no visible heartbeat on ultrasound, serum beta HCG level from 1500 to 5000 international uh, units. How much does it come? Yes, sir. Less than, less than 5000 international unit per liter. Uh, do not have the intra, uh, which do not have the intrauterine pregnancy, which I said in the heterotropic pregnancy, and uh, who are able to return for follow up because we need the follow up in methotrexate also. Advise them that their chance of needing further intervention is increased and they may need to be urgently admitted if their condition deteriorates. The follow-up uh, follow of the medical management is as we repeat the beta HCG level on fourth and seventh day of giving the injection methotrexate, and then once weekly uh, until the negative results obtained, which is less than 20 international unit per liter. If the beta HCG level does not reduce by 15%, then we get the TVS to check for the hemoperitoneum or fetal heart rate. Then we will go for the second dose of the methotrexate. So will we start the medical treatment uh, if there is no fetal heart failure? We, uh, we will give the second dose of methotrexate then. Start the medical management only when the fetal hearts are absent. Yes. If, uh, if you see fetal heart on ultrasound, then medical management is not indicated. Yes. Then, then, the, the then we'll give the surgical management. Okay. After repeating, after giving, uh, before giving the second dose of methotrexate, we will repeat if the oh, beta HCG oh, level is not yeah, if the beta HCG levels do not draw by decrease 50. or drop by 15%, then you resort to TBS and look for hemoperitoneum, which would denote rupture of the uh, pregnancy, or if fetal heart rate which hold the fetal heart. So if fetal heart is seen, then again you abandon uh, that. But if you do not see hemoperitoneum and you do not see fetal heart then you give the second, second dose. dose so the criteria for giving second dose is that if beta HCG is not falling or dropping by 15%, number one. Number two, on TVS, there is no hypoperitoneum and no fetal cardiac activity is seen yes. in the mass. Then you can the try or you can give second dose. Then comes the surgical management. Surgical, we will offer the surgical management to the patient who have the significant pain, having that in excel mass greater than 35 millimeter or larger, having the fetal heartbeat visible on the ultrasound and serum beta HCG level 5,000 international unit, unit per liter or more. Now, this way, this way, have the significant pain, ki baat ki hai, pain and of course, uh, uska, uh, hemodynamic condition. If he, hemodynamically the patient appears to be unstable, unstable of course, unstable. that means that there is, or axial mass is large, or there is fatal cardiac activity is visible on ultrasound, and the beta HCG level is five, more than 5,000, then you do not consider medical management or expected management, and these are the indications for resorting surgical. to surgical treatment. In the surgical management, we have two options, the laparoscopy and uh, open laparotomy. Uh, laparoscopy is preferred if the. Please, you click on the you have laparoscopy ka L is chota likha wa baki sab ke pehle levels wo letters bade likhe ho to uska bhi barabar barabar kar lete. Yes sir. Laparoscopy is preferred if the patient is hemodynamically stable and the expertise are present. If uh, uh, the patient is hemodynamically not stable, then we will opt for open laparotomy. 
uh, we will offer the self injectomy or self injectomy uh, if the yes yeah, self injectomy ko self injectomy bhi bolte hain yes, sir. dono cheeze bolte hain uh, the It difference same thing. yes sir uh, sir self injectomy mein stitch line uh, nahi repair karte aur self injectomy mein karte hain Uh, uh, we will offer the self injectomy to the patients uh, in which the contralateral tube is healthy and uh, uh, fertility is desired we will consider self injectomy in uh, the patients in which the contralateral tube is not uh, healthy looking and the further fertility is desired self injectomy that uh, uh, up to 1 in 5 women may need the further treatment which includes the methotrexate and or or the self injectomy after self injectomy one serum beta hcg level we will uh, offer the pa patient on seventh day then per week until a negative result is obtained after self injectomy we will uh, do the urine pregnancy test after 3 weeks and advise the woman to return back if the further uh, if the results are positive Uh, this, uh, this is important uh, to look at it from self injectomy and self injectomy viewpoints because when you do self injectomy you extract and remove the pregnancy but it is uh, many times not possible always to remove the whole of it and there is a, a possibility of some of the uh, trophoblast uh, having been left behind and that trophoblast may remain active and therefore cause uh, problem and uh, therefore it is important to monitor these pregnancies afterwards or these women these patients afterwards to uh, through beta hcg estimation because if beta hcg is uh, continues to remain at a higher level that would mean uh, continued uh, trophoblastic activity and therefore that would need a follow up treatment of medical, medical treatment also. whereas in salpingectomy since you have removed all of uh, the affected area therefore uh, uh, you, uh, you do not need to do that now it is important that in what patients you would be doing self injectomy or self endotomy and in what others self injecting self injectomy per se is comparatively easier straightforward and consumes less time whereas self endotomy you make an incision on the anti mesenteric border of the tube and then you um with yes. hydro dissection or you tease out the pregnancy out and then you would encounter some bleeders which you may have to cauterize you may have to deal with that uh, so uh, uh, and that still would leave behind a little bit a little bit of lingering doubts about any functional trophoblastic having been left behind uh, and and the need for follow up there and i have known very experienced people who did this and they had to reoperate the same day or the next day because of continued bleeding and then do self injectomy so self endotomy and self endotomy is something which uh, needs to be carefully undertaken and uh, uh, if the other if the contralateral tube and ovary they are normal and uh, uh, the tube looks healthy uh, then uh, one could go ahead with self injectomy but if the contralateral tube is uh, grossly um, abnormal or not likely to be patent or uh, is uh, absent then uh, one and the patient uh, uh, fertility requirement dictates so then uh, uh, you would uh, try to save the tube uh, although it still would be damaged and would uh, 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 raise the chances of a repeat uh, ectopic pregnancy but uh, i'm sure that uh, many of you must have come across cases in which this is a kind of approach that is self endotomy or self endostomy uh, was useful for the patient that she had a natural pregnancy as yes, otherwise if that is two is removed she can resort to ivf but ivf is expensive and all that wo sara usko choose mein hai so therefore to preserve fertility uh, one would uh, uh, go for self endotomy uh, now it is another approach is that uh, if you are doing uh, laparoscopic surgery or even other surgery then you uh, um, excise the portion of the tube and the rest is then uh, anastomose uh, from end to end so that you you uh, maintain the patency of the tube and you remove the affected part and uh, that's how you preserve uh, fertility in the patient yes. so this is uh, about uh, 
considering uh, the approach and the time of surgery. Then so what about the dual laparoscopy and the surgery with abortion? Can we do milking and then we leave the tube as such? Uh -huh, milking, I guess, uh, definitely there, it would leave a little bit of uncertainty because when you milk, then you are actually pushing the uh, process of conception mm -hmm. outside out the tube. Uh, but you are not sure whether all of that is removed. Yeah. Number one. Number two, the tube doesn't have a mechanism like the uterus has, which uh, the myometrium uh, contracts. Mm -hmm. And myometrium takes care of the bleeding after remove, separation and removal of the placenta. But tube doesn't do that. So a bleeder in the bed of uh, that stroke blast where it was attached, it, it would uh, be just like that. So you're taking a chance. There may be a bleeder which uh, may not stop uh, bleeding on its own and it, it would continue to bleed. So that, that uh, I, I am not very sure about uh, that kind of approach in which you milk the uh, pregnancy out through the fibril end, but uh, one is tempted to do mm -hmm. that. You save the tube, even this injury of salvingostomy or, or salvingotomy, and yeah, they do not reflect that since the pregnancy has come out. But if you see uh, an intact pregnancy which has been extruded out of the tube and there is no uh, bleeding on, uh, uh, from the fibril end, then the tube looks otherwise healthy. Then that, of course, is comparatively uh, uh, an easier choice or easier decision to make. So, go ahead. Okay. But uh, one has to be careful about that, that you do not leave behind uh, uh, a bleeding tube. A bleeding tube which would necessitate reopening uh, the same day or the next day. So then, NTD for phylexis uh, should be given to all the RH negative women who requires the surgical treatment. Uh, and we do not give the NTD for phylexis to the woman who solely needs the medical management. And uh, while we are giving the medical management, we uh, advise the patient that they should delay the pregnancy for three months after the methotrexate because it has the teratogenesis effects. These are the references. Thank you. Good. Man, I'm the Kazu. I'm not sure. 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 I'll go through my slides quickly or sort of Chandek. Good. 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 We'll go through this uh, very quickly. Uh, Aksa has uh, presented uh, a very nice uh, uh, presentation of ectopic pregnancy. She's covered the subject completely. I'll just uh, stop at a few places. And uh, yeah, this is definition bhi ho wo hai. Uh, in ka incidence that up there look at 90% ectopic pregnancy, ovarian, cervical, interstitial, cesarean scar pregnancy, or wo hai, or heterotopic pregnancy, you have uh, incidence uh, one in four thousand to thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. Uh, ectopic pregnancy may wo ho gaya ye cheeze cover kar di hai yahan pe ek hai ke most common type amongst uh, ye jo hai increasing rate of ivf are correlated with rising rate of ectopic pregnancies agar aap dekho to uh, rate of ectopic pregnancy amongst ivf pregnancies is uh, up to four times higher than uh, in the rate in natural conceptions and uh, of course, increasing rate of cesareans, as we already said, is uh, increasing that. Incidence of heterotopic pregnancy is also increased many times more with IVF pregnancies, one in 100. And in ovulation induction also, it is one in 7,000. Whereas natural, what do you have? One in 30,000. topic Diagnostics may, of course, we go along with history, examination, ultrasound, beta, SCG, or ye wala hai. 
और ये रिस्क फैक्टर्स उन्होंने बता दिए बट 50 परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स डू नॉट हैव एनी रिस्क फैक्टर्स दे हैव टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी तो एंड सब्सिक्वेंट रिस्क इज अठारह परसेंट कहा था वो है वही वाला कि आफ्टर वन प्रायर एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी इट इज टेन परसेंट एंड आफ्टर टू और मोर वो इट बिकम्स इवन मोर देन एंड ऑल्सो इंसिडेंस विद इंट्राइन कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव डिवाइसिस उनके साथ भी एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी का इंसिडेंस भी कम हो जाता है कम्पेयर नेचुरल प्रेगनेंसी के अलावा बट फिर भी ट्रांसफरस डन at cleavage stage early cleavage stage which is about eight cell stage that is day 3 uh in the, those cases there is greater risk because the embryo still is moving around or has the potential to move around whereas uh, if it is the blastocyst uh, stage embryo that gets to stick with the uterine wall earlier uh ye ho gaya diagnostic criteria ho gaye hain और आप देख लेना इसको डिटेल से देख लेना treatment conservative aggressive uh, medical surgical expectant but emphasis is again it has to be kept in mind that emphasis should be on conservation of fertility that what kind of treatment which is safe for the patient and would also give uh, chances of her uh, fertility intramuscular methotrexate current status of medical management ka hai और इसको ये हैं दीज आर कंट्रा इंडिकेशन ये फिटल कार्डिक एक्टिविटी बीटा एस सी जी लेवल मोर देन फाइव थाउजेंड एंड एक्टोपिक मोर देन फोर सेंटीमीटर इन डायमीटर इफ दीज आर देर कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेट दीज आर द मेन कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन इन बाकी साथ में ये बन जाती हैं टोटल बारह तेरह बन जाती हैं intra uterine pregnancy hemodynamic instability pelvic pain anemia leukopenia thrombocytopenia renal etc etc ye ye dekh lo ye ye teen tarah se di jaati hai single double or multi dose regimen hai name of each regimen number of planned doses hai iska matlab even in single dose bhi aap you may have to give a second dose but in the double dose you may have to give a third dose as well but generally you start in the single dose you start with the premise that single dose would be enough and you would be um, left with only that ye kuch saal pehle ka paper hai isme medical management of ectopic pregnancy with the single and two dose protocols american journal ka hai e paper hai mere paas main ye bhi laga dunga aapko dekhna hai to isme ye tha ki methotrexate at a dose based on body self o50 wahi wali baat hai बीटा एसीजी को पोस्ट ट्रीटमेंट डे फोर एंड फाइव कोई जो बातें पहले बताई है फिफ्टीन परसेंट डिक्रीज एक्सेट्रा और उसके मुताबिक उसके फिर आप रिपीट डोज करोगे ये दो टेबल्स हैं अगर मैंने इसमें मल्टी डोज वाला नहीं इसमें डाला हुआ था लेकिन है एक जगह पे अवेलेबल है ये सिंगल डोज ट्रीटमेंट है इसको किस तरह से करना है कि डे वन पे और डे फोर पे और डे सेवन पे हाउ इज टू बी फॉलोड अप ये डे टू का है इसी तरह से जो टू डोजेस वाला है दैट इज टू बी मॉनिटर्ड ऑन डे 11 एंड 14 ये डिटेल में पढ़ लेना मैं आप लोगों को भेज दूंगा ठीक है मोस्ट एक्टोपिक प्रेगनेंसी द डायग्नोज अर्ली दीस डेज एज आई सेड वो वो तरह से तो वो उसमें पॉसिबिलिटी होती है कि नॉन सर्जिकल ऑप्शन ये सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट तो लेकिन वो जो हेल्थ केयर एक्सेसिबिलिटी पेशेंट कंप्लायंस इन एबिलिटी टू फॉलो अब वो जिसके बारे में बात की थी मैंने हाई रिस्क ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन ट्रीटमेंट फेलियर एंड सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट इज सेफ फॉर बोथ दीस पेशेंट्स एंड देन कॉमन साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ मिथोटेक्सेट एंड 
uh, what patients undergoing treatment should do or not do. NSAID is not going to take a lot of money. It will come to that. Then laparoscopic surgery, surgical treatment, laparotomy, self-endostomy, self-injectomy, and what is the indication of the indication? Removal of part or all the fallopian tube along with the indication of the indication. When normal contralateral tube is absent obstructed contralateral tube, then what will happen? And self-endostomy, who is the way you want to do it? You said all that. Surgical management, uh, higher rate of success in terminating uh, than medical management. This is what they are doing. And indications for surgical treatment, of course, are uh, there is feature of rupture of ectopic pregnancy or contraindication to medical management or your yeah, patient can get me surgical. So, yeah, this is what they are doing. Most conservative approach for the treatment is yeah, expectant management. ये लास्ट में डिक्रीजिंग और प्लेट्यूड बीटा एसीटी लेवल्स होने और बीटा एसीटी लेवल लेस देन 200 यूजुअली रिजल्ट्स स्पोर्टेनियसली इन 80 परसेंट ऑफ केसेस अगर शुरू में आप देखें और रेजोल्यूशन डिक्लाइन्स एट बीटा एसीटी लेवल एक्सीड दिस वो होता है एक्सपेक्टेड मैनेजमेंट बीटा एसीटी that's it. ये है delay of evidence base वो हो जाती है। यहाँ पे ये एक ये तस्वीर जो है, यहाँ पे इतनी ज़रा धुंधली सी आ रही है, but if you see from close quarters, ये अगर uterus का हिस्सा है, तो I'm sure all of you must have seen so many of these। ये तो आपने laparoscopic surgery में देखा है कि ये tubular pregnancy यहाँ पे उसकी bleeding भी हो रही है, ये pouch of Douglas में जा रही है। ये एक कॉर्नवॉल प्रेगनेंसी है, which is uncommon, बहुत कम होती है कॉर्नवॉल प्रेगनेंसी और इंटरस्टिशियल प्रेगनेंसी। इसमें तो फिर ये कॉर्नवॉल रिसेक्शन की जाती है, तो वो उस तरह से होता है। ये। चलो, thank you very much। अब सवाल है किसी के तो वो जरूर। You are most welcome to ask question. We are finished well in time. We have five minutes more. आज कोई सवाल नहीं है। हम्म। चलो, डायसाइड का भी स्कोर है। आप भी। जिन्हें क्या स्वाद? तीसरा आंसर दिया था। आपने पूछा था मैं कौन से कैंसर का? अच्छा। हाँ, पूछा नहीं कैंसर। राइट। चलें जी, थैंक यू वेरी मच। ये ये भी प्रे